Hi folks, Don Bailey. Tips of the trade. We've got a whole series of videos coming out. We're going to give you some ideas about how you can save some time and make yourself more effective. We're going to show you how you're going to check something for squareness. What do I mean by that? For those of you that don't understand squareness or parallelism, we, we need to find out if this surface on the bottom here is indeed square with this surface and this one and this one by setting it on this edge. How do we do that? Well, there's a couple of ways to do it. I personally like to use a cylinder square. We happen to know that this is uh, perfectly round and straight within probably 50 millionths. One way to do it is to put it on here because it's magnetic. And then we can take it over here to the indicator and we'll zero that baby in. And then all we do is we check it one spot here and another spot there. And you can see it's within a couple of tenths. We're using the lower scale here and you can see that it's with, within one or two tenths and that would be in the length of the cylinder square. So it's, and that's about four inches, so that'll give you an idea. That's one way to do it. Now we'll show you another way. We can do it with another indicator, an ind indicator stand, and we have to zero this in. We have to make this true and parallel to something. So we use this as a reference, and this is a cylinder square, and we set that to zero, which it is right now, and then we bring it over here. We can do it right here as well, and it's on zero, so I know that it's, it's square within a couple of tenths. Or we can take it over on this side and do the same thing there. And I don't know if you can get a, can you zero in on that? Are you like that for a pun? Zero in, huh? Let me turn this around so maybe you can get a shot of that, Glenn. You see that? Great. So that's two ways that you can check for squareness. Uh, we can also obviously check this other face, the same thing. Now because I moved it, we're going to have to go back to our reference and zero it back in. And we'll move the indicator just a little bit. There we go. And we come over here and check it and see. And again, it's right on the money. So this chuck is square and parallel within a couple of tenths. This is a tool that you can use on the surface grinder or for inspection to make sure that the part that you're checking is square and parallel. It's a great tool for that purpose. You don't have to use clamps, turn the chuck on, turn the chuck off. Just another one of our tips of the trade. Thanks for watching.